everyone hope that you are well uh, welcome to the new videos so today i will um, present you a lighting solution for a lecture hall so when you don't have a dvg file which you like to import in dialogues evo and you need to establish a lighting solution just for a single room then you choose this option room planning so by clicking on the room planning uh, you will define the height, uh, length, and uh, the width of, of the room. And I have already been set up the um, those parameters, let's say. And here is the, le the lecture hall in the 2D. So if I move to a 3D, you can see actually the, yeah, the lighting solution for the for the lecture hall um, today we will go step by step as mentioned you choose a room planning you define the width um, the length and the height of the of the lecture hall and then i will speak about how you define the platform on for the for the lecture hall how you add the stairs on the platform uh, which furniture i recommend you to use Speaking here about the, the chairs, of course, a uh, table, yeah, a chair, then you have a flip chart. And just to be close to, to the, to the uh, let's say, to the, um, getting close to the realistic feeling of, of, of a lecture hall. And stay until the end of this video because you will see pictures with, um, with these lecture halls how it looks into into reality when the lighting solution implemented and you can see actually how we extrapolate from dialogues to um, really finish um, lighting solution which was implemented into a lecture hall okay so let's start with the fir first step as i said you define um, the size of the lecture hall and after that you will need to create the platform so here, for example, you need to go on the, the room ele elements and I would just using the draw rectangular room elements. So if you click on it, you can just choose, for example, you go all the way on the, the size. And then I had, in my case, it was 0 so that's the that's the dimension of of my platform so you can build it like as it is as in the following example and you can see also the dimension is 0.9 and then you have a height of um, of 0.3 so this was the the beginning this is the stand after that i change to the next platform and the same width length of course is the length of the room and i just increased by 0.3 so these are step by step so in this way i just create the platform 0.9 then 1.2 1.5 uh, 1.8 and until the end which is 2.7 so in this way i had the platform the next step was to bring the the stairs and i did the same so the rectangular element i knew that the, the stair it's 0.2 meters the length and then the height 0.115 so then i just did it for one side and step by step as you can see it here and then i just copy on on the other side on the on the right side so then we had the platform and the stairs next step was using the furniture so i imported the following chairs you can go on the on the furniture select and on the catalog i was just opening and go yeah i think these are the only chairs we you you find uh, like a block of three chairs so i was just using that block and you will find it here yeah, let's scroll it and then i just yeah so here is the the chairs which i have used for the for the lecture hall and then i just copy i make a row and then copy until uh, yeah until the top 
So the furniture is the, the chairs I use from the from the catalog, the same as the desk, um, the swing office chair and laptop and the flip chart, everything you find in the in the object catalog. Um, in addition, I was going also to on the material because I knew um, um, the color of the of the floor, uh, which type of ceiling will be, and also the walls. And then you just go on material. I just select here materials, and you have the two catalogs. So material catalog, uh, and here I I was choosing. The, um, the furniture and as well the the color of the of the walls and then you can, I just made a um, so for example it was this uh, on the I was using this walnut reddish painted on the on the walls and on the on the um, floor I have used uh, with this uh, material color so reflection factor of 84 so it's uh, it's a white color you will see in a couple of minutes also the final let's say the outcome of uh, of the lecture hall um, how is the realization so I try to to get close as uh, in the in the what was defined for the for the implementation of this of this project so yeah so that's about um, furniture and how you can build the lecture hall next step it was of course lighting system so I choose to have a continuous line I install a continuous line four lines for the for the entire lecture hall um, for each continuous light I have used six luminaires and let's move to the light um, before establishing also I define okay the lecture hall with the name and height of the room is six meters uh, also the work plan I change it here and I have choose um, all the characteristics which are required for the for the lecture hall before starting um, the, the calculation so you can find in education um, properties, um, education buildings. You have uh, the space, and then you go an application lecture hall, and then you see all the lighting parameters which you need to fulfill for for this um, application. So just by clicking here, those two, you can define your own space and then you know exactly what is the, the outcome that you you need to fulfill for the next um, I choose the following luminaire and here are the characteristics of the of this luminaire and then I just run the, the lighting calculation um, I think calculation is already done so we can see already the outcome so we fulfill the 500 lux level uh, we have actually a little bit more 529 and at the height of 0.8 meters above the above the floor so this was the, the outcome of this uh, calculation we can see also have the true fall colors so it's very nice very uniform I would say for one side to to another and also we can get a feeling of, of the lighting in this way so let's move now on the on the finished product as I promised in the beginning so let's see how it looks into reality so ta-da this actually it's the outcome of that uh, Deluxe Evo so I try to replicate one to one as close as possible and here you see the all the let's say how the project was implemented the lighting solution um, as I said a white very shiny and glossy um, floor as well as a 
as the ceiling and also on reddish on on the on the walls so yeah if you like this video please subscribe to my channel give a like it will help me um and yeah stay tuned